folks. Welcome back to the channel. Today, Michael's going to be hooking up the snow blowers to his tractor because we do have a forecast for our first, I guess, kind of major snowstorm of this winter. Uh, I think we're only looking at 15 to 20 centimeters, but certainly enough that it's going to likely require the snow blowing. So, let's see how it goes. So the big issue uh, using older tractors, older equipment, is that there is no quick attack. So it can be a rather sneaky process, uh, and not one that Michael likes to do any more often than he absolutely has to. Okay, well, the first side went pretty good. Uh, the second one is usually uh, a little trickier in some ways in that it has to be absolutely back to get it uh, lined up so the pin will go in, but uh, so far, so good. It's going pretty good so far. So the next step is to put on the PTO. Fingers crossed and continue to go smoothly. Wow, that's good. Well, I can get the uh, PTO shaft on here. And hopefully we can. Oh, we're going to need a tap tap. Yeah, it's definitely seized up some. Yeah. 
There we go. We're on. Got it. So you probably can see why Michael prefers to have multiple tractors uh, because it is a bit nuisancey when you're shifting uh, implements around. So once he puts the snowblower on, normally it's on for the season. So it'll be on until the spring, uh, and or at least wise that will be the plan. Link and she's all set to go, I think. Well, the problem is the uh, the tractor, the hydraulics are able to lift lift up high enough that the bar hits in here. It's in. See how it's squished okay. in. Okay. So when you're busy snow blowing and you just basically yank her up, yank her up to <laughs> to turn around or whatever you know maneuvering you might be doing it comes up high enough to to, to hit, hit here there. and you don't course, figure it'll hold but you don't figure it'll hold no no I could weld it perhaps if need be but I'm sure I have I have it well at least one spare one and I'm sure I have like we may have left one out on the uh, Wood chipper. Oh, there may so be there one could be there. one there. There's one I know on the uh, logging winch. Okay. There. Right here. Okay. Top link. Top link. Come on, get out here. first real storm in the winter. And a couple of kind of, you know, eight, ten centimeters, but nothing that's lasted. Big circle. Big circle. <laughs> think she's sitting fairly level there. Yeah, looks reasonably level from here, yes. Take some of the slack out here and Go. Alrighty. Yeah, everything's everything's hooked up. Nothing left laying around. Everything's passing down. Okay, time to test things. Hmm. The chute appears to be, uh, it's not going all the way around, so obviously there's an issue there. I'm not sure what the plan is. There almost certainly is is uh, some water in the hydraulic fluid, whether it's froze. Oh, well, it's cold enough in a spot. <laughs> you died falling by a chicken tea. You're dang right, I did. <laughs> Wait till I catch him. <laughs> So what's the plan? Plan, 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 plan. Great. Well, uh, 
again, uh, I could add a little uh, methyl hydrate into the hydraulic oil. Funnel down in there. Why they would run a, a line right over. Make it easy. Hopefully, I'm in. Now to get that methyl hydrate circulating through, and then with the blow torch makes me a little nervous, but fingers crossed that does the trick. went off fairly smoothly, uh, all considered. A couple little glitches, um, but nothing too major and nothing that was uh, too time consuming. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Glad you could join us. Uh, stay safe out there and we'll catch you on the next video.